Hi, my name's David Fink, and a number of years ago I wrote a book called Making and Mastering Wood Planes. I've always thought it would be great to provide some video supplement to the book in some short video clips, and that's why I'm here today. Why don't we start off with an introduction to the plane itself. Let's take a closer look. The plane consists of the body, a wedge that holds the blade in, and then the blade assembly, which is comprised of the blade, a cap screw, and a chip breaker that's been attached. The body also has a cross pin. The cross pin is free to rotate and takes up the angle of the wedge when the wedge is applied. Now I'd like to show you how I set up the plane to take shaving. The blade goes in the body of the plane, followed by the wedge. I pull the blade back slightly so it's not um, touching the surface of the pinch. Then I set the wedge with a little bit of finger pressure like so. This allows me to turn the plane over without dumping the contents. Then I make use of this light hammer, head's only about two and a half ounces, to adjust the blade and also tighten the wedge eventually. First I'll tap the blade up till it comes just about flush with the bottom of the plane. So looking from behind I can see the edge of the plane blade and I can see now that it's just about flush with the bottom of the plane. So I'll tap the wedge tight. What I look for in tightening the wedge is a barely perceptible raise in the pitch and also a feeling of bounciness. When it starts to, the hammer starts to bounce off the wedge, I know everything's nice and solid, but I don't want to over tighten the wedge. That just distorts the plane and also makes it hard to adjust. Now, uh, for the very final adjustments, I'll tap the blade forward once again. And this time, after each adjustment, I'll feel at the corners to feel if the blade is protruding out the bottom. So that looks about right. So I'll just feel with the thumb for the corner of the blade. Do I feel it or not? I feel it ever so slightly on the left side, but not on the right. So I'll bring the right corner forward by uh, tapping on the right corner of the blade and that will bring both forward but the right side a little more and that feels about right now so it's time to try to take shaving. Now certainly one of the real joys of using planes is polish planing or smooth planing a surface and getting a hand planed finish that requires no further work as in sanding. It's quite possible to do this sort of finish planing even on highly figured woods. This is some quilted big leaf maple from uh, Northern California. After planing off the surface, I take a nice clump of very fine shavings and use that to burnish the surface. A very even, lovely patina. Wooden planes also do a great job of edge joining boards. Here's an 18 inch joiner plane, and simply put, the quality of the joints is unsurpassed. A few strokes with the hand plane is all that's required to get great surfaces. This edge is absolutely smooth and slick. Makes a seamless joint. Now the wooden planes also truly excel at trimming end grain. Uh, what I have here is a shooting board. I've got a piece of cherry and a jack plane that I've made 
specifically for this shooting board. And the purpose of the shooting board is to hold the wood steady in a square relationship to the plane. That's the purpose of this ramp and this stop here. And then I can take repeatable shavings off the end of the board to uh, get perfect squareness. It's also great for other things like uh, mounting a 45 to get great miter joints. You can set up a jig to miter across the corner as well and any angle in between. You can also use the shooting board for super accurate uh, trimming of uh, boards to get uh, just precise lengths. Really helpful device. My book has tips on how to go about making a shooting board. And if you're interested in a slightly improved, newer inversion I've come up with not so long ago, you can search my name and shooting board for a video that's available on the Fine Woodworking's website. I hope you've found this brief introduction to wood hand planes interesting. If you'd like to follow up on it some more, take a look at my book, uh, Making and Mastering Wood Planes. You can order it off of my website, davidfink.com. And uh, in future installments of these small video clips. I'll be going into some more detail on aspects of building the plane and using the plane. This is a great project for beginners. Um, I've taught many novices, folks who've never done any woodworking, to make a plane in a weekend and start getting good at using them. And folks that haven't had that much experience with hand tools but are good with power tool use can find a whole another world of woodworking opening up by the use of these wood planes. So, uh, until next time, happy planing.